Today, as shoppers across the country were taking part in Small Business Saturday, one small business in Nashville was cleaning up after an overnight burglary. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb spoke with the owner of a bakery called Sweet Creations. It's all new at 10 tonight. Well, that's right, Shannon. The burglar that hit the business on Monroe Street busted out a window, but once inside, they didn't go for a lot of money. Instead, they went for their main product, a bunch of pies. At the Sweet Creations Bakery. Distinctive taste for distinctive people. You can call Herman Patton by his given name, but most here know him by his nickname. I am the pie man. I am the real pie man. The pie man arrived at his shop on this small business Saturday to find a very big problem. They did a damage. They, 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 they kicked that one in right there. And inside, not a dollar was taken. Nothing left out of place except eight of the pie man's pies were stolen. These are some of the best pies that you would ever have in your life, bar nobody's pies. And ask me how good our pies are, they're good enough to break in our shop. For the person who broke into his shop, the pie man says it's okay. I'm not mad at you. It's the pie that got you. <laughs> but you cannot make the pie at home. You got to come back and see us. In fact, Herman says he's leaving a pie outside tonight in case the burglar wants to come back. Call it a cheap insurance policy. There's nothing else for you to get but that pie. So if you want something hard, is that hard? Come on, and we make it help you. It may catch you, it may help you. At Sweet Creations, there is no talk tonight of revenge as a dish best served cold. I hope the pie tastes good to them, too. <laughs> Instead, it's warm wisdom on the menu, served by the slice. They cannot steal the joy in our hearts. We're going to keep on going because that's what small business is about. It's more about the hearts than more about the money in a small business, and we got big hearts. Well, there was no surveillance camera footage from near the area. The owner says he will continue his business despite the theft, especially in the middle of this busy holiday season.